Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is a Monday. It's a long week of Nutcracker rehearsals with my ballet company. So come along with me. I just want to say right at the beginning of this video, thank you so much, Halara, for sponsoring today's episode. Um, I absolutely love their clothes and get ready to see much more from them throughout this video. So I got off to work at a good time. It was a sunny, bright, blue sky kind of morning and the Christmas markets were out, which is crazy to think Christmas is so soon. I sent a package off in the mail. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're around here, my name is Hannah Martin. Today is Monday. It's a week of Nutcracker rehearsals. I found last week I was literally just trying to get back into things. It was so full on, kind of Nutcracker costume workshops and a performance at the Hockley Social Club. So I feel like this week is finally where I can just completely focus back on my classical Nutcracker and all the roles, because there's always so many different roles that you get to do in Nutcracker. Yeah, just focus on, on making them the best that they can possibly be. Class and then an hour and 45 minute rehearsal for snow and then an hour and 45 for flowers so it's not too too long today but just need to stay focused um i got here early to the point where the gym isn't actually open yet so i am currently stretching outside the gym doors which are locked just in front of me but i'm pretty sure people will come soon to unlock them I'm wanting to get a really solid start to my week because i found last week because it was so busy i just didn't have the time to properly stretch and do my conditioning like I would like to. I just felt like the week was running away from me. My room was an absolute mess. I don't like getting that unclean, but I just did not have time. And I had a university essay that was due in. So now that I feel a bit more on top of that, hoping that this week I'll just feel a little bit more like myself. <laughs> so excited to start this week off well. Today, I decided to warm up a little bit on some reformer Pilates type exercises. So I did these Devlapes and a few things just to activate those inside thighs and core muscles ready for class and we had an extremely kind of kind of concise long it's not a long day but a concise day full of rehearsals where i felt very tired afterwards not gonna lie um tuesday i did not vlog so i apologize this is about all you see of tuesday because it was a super super busy day full of rehearsals studio time and kind of just taking care of my body because I was certainly feeling the intensity of coming off from Black Sabbath shows into going straight to Nutcracker and Classical Rep. So I was just trying to get my body back into that frame of mind, frame and mindset and way of moving. Um, so I think that kind of adjustment, I was definitely feeling it. On Wednesday, I began the day with some foam rollering as breakfast was being made it was in fact world ballet day so happy world ballet day or belated world ballet day to those of you who celebrate it i managed to finish off and send my essay to my university tutor before doing my quiet time and then i got ready for work wearing of course my one of my favorite halara outfits at the moment actually you'll see this one a couple of times throughout the vlog and that leads me on to this segment, which is sponsored by Halara. I have to say these trousers are a particular favorite of mine. They are so, so comfortable and I love all like the pockets and designs. And this top is kind of giving me lacy vibes, which I love anything that's kind of lace, very elegant. I love the kind of top line of it. And this mini skirt, I'm telling you, has built in shorts which makes it super comfortable where I, I always, you know, need to be ready if, if I need to do a leg kick. So um, I also love this top with the high neck. It goes really well with my hat that I bought in London. So that makes me very happy. Um, also this jacket is, I don't feel like I'm cool enough to wear this jacket if I'm quite honest with you. When it came, I was like, wow, this, this jacket is cooler than I am. Um, they do have a Black Friday sale coming up, so please make sure to check out their website. I will link all these items down in the description below. I'm telling you, these jeans are the most comfortable jeans 
most stretchy jeans I've ever worn in my life and I'm not just saying that um, and also these yoga pants are such a vibe really really fun to kind of stretch in you can use my code HM15 to enjoy 15% off when shopping at Halara so make sure you check it out and make sure you check out their Black Friday sale. You can get two Cloudful 3.0 leggings for $24. If you ask me that is that is a bargain so make sure you check out that on their website and please comment down below what your favourite outfit was in this video whether it's on this I actually have a romper later in the video that you'll see which is also from Halara. But comment your favourite item or favourite outfit from this video in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Once again, thank you Halara for sponsoring this video. Back to the vlog. Good morning everybody. I did not vlog yesterday. I was having a little bit of a mental moment. We all have bad days say was a little bit of a interesting day for me not a bad day just i didn't feel like the best version of myself whereas today we're going in with a much better mindset got some uni work and had a good quiet time with the lord this morning and now we're heading into work let's have a good day today and this is for you this is oh. this was a gift from like the coupon i used are I you don't sure use, like, wraps yeah it's, it has weed so i can have it thank uh, you yeah. happy world ballet day she's <laughs> bringing all the snacks say good morning to the vlog look at all the snacks she brought i mean and now i've got tomato wraps i can't wait to try these this morning I decided to warm up with some progressing ballet technique. I usually just do 5-10 minutes of it before doing some stretches and getting ready for class. I just find that this activates all of those ballet muscles ready for, for the long day ahead. Um, we had class and then a flowers rehearsal I believe, or maybe even snow. I can't remember at this point, we've done so many. Um, straight after I had some lunch because I was getting hungry and then we did some studio time and it was World Ballet Day so we were all trying to get our World Ballet Day posts ready, not gonna lie. Um, and I had to practice a few roles that I was preparing for. I was really not happy with these walks so we did a lot of these walks on point, not gonna lie. <laughs> Had a rehearsal 5 till 6 30 which is right at the end of our day so i had plenty of time to work on things um so i wanted to take advantage of that and i did manage to get my world ballet post done so if you guys aren't following me on instagram if you want you can go check me out on there and you would be the first to see these sort of things um, and you don't have to wait for it to come out in a vlog <laughs> yeah, this is um, a very exciting moment. We were together when I ordered these in mm -hmm. Plymouth. They are point shoes that were ordered from Sheen. This is not a recommendation. <laughs> I paid in total £11. <laughs> £11. Okay, just to put that into context for some of you who maybe don't buy point shoes. Point shoes roughly are like mm. 15 above at least. At least, yeah. 50 to 150. Literally. Per pair per pair guys it's an expensive business let me Literally. tell you that so these are extremely extremely cheap first impressions there's very light it's like half the weight of normal point shoes so let's open this baby up it's like christmas oh my God. Here. Okay. Ooh, a good oh, color i wonder if they come with ribbons oh they look like a grishko they're in a nice little bag though wow, close up that it's like in a nice nice little bag oh it's all in a different language are they already so they are. That would be great, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I think I'm going to have to sew them. I think. Oh, <laughs> it was Bags very broken. good quality. Mm -hmm. Oh dear me. These are ribbons. They're very shiny. They look like blues. They look oh, like they're padded on the inside. They've got a nice flap. Do they, do they stand up? No. Oh, I don't know whether to break them or just put them on as bricks. Maybe I'll bend it a little bit. I'll bend, let's bend it a little bit. Oh god, they're already quite sweet. That's really Ooh. easy to bend. They're also quite like tapered oh please be careful they're a bit of a weird shape oh Honey, no. just just look at what that looks okay, like wait. just put yourself on don't put weight on it i don't want you to oh yourself. my god oh wow they they push you over jeez okay please be careful i i will be doing stuff hey 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 i'm not injuring you stop it stop it okay that is oh 
wrinkly. They're like soft blocks. They are like soft blocks. Yeah, yeah, blocks. yeah. Look, they don't. They don't make sound. Let's do a bit of musical. Here yeah. Ballet day today as well, which is ironic. So after that fun little excursion where I was trying some of those cheap point shoes, um, I went and did a reformer session with Harvey Klein. I have spoken about Harvey a number of times on this channel, um, but he is one of the coaches who is really helping me kind of I'm really trying to find those nuances and those things that are going to make me a stronger dancer and as you can see here he was correcting all my alignment in this um, so we worked together on zoom in the studio and also here we were doing like a strength session where he targeted certain areas of weakness for myself um, even such as doing a la seconde but at a 90 degree angle because this is a much more strengthening position for me than doing it right by my ear so um, I definitely recommend Harvey. I'll be talking about him more later in the vlog. Our last rehearsal just finished early, so I'm gonna go home. Spent most of the day in the studio and working. I think I'm a little bit tired. I don't feel fab, if I'm honest, in a bit of a negative space. Being very harsh on myself all of a sudden, which I don't know why. I just want to be, I need to be better, and I'm hungry. So this is probably the main, main issue. When I'm hungry, I get very hard on myself and then I eat something and I'm like, oh, the world is fun and dandy. So let's go home and make some dinner. So I just ate, bathed, put my posts up for Wild Ballet Day. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, so you get to see all my kind of during the week stuff. I really did want to post to YouTube today, but as you can tell, it's been a bit of a week. I was doing all right, staying positive, And then that inner critic just came out at the end of the day. And it's still kind of there. I don't know if any of you struggle with this. I th I've actually spoke about it in my perfectionism essay that I wrote. I'm trying to learn how to step out of this mindset of being so, so hard on myself and only seeing all the things that are wrong instead of appreciating that there are some things that are right and I can build on that. I think this just means I need some sleep if I'm honest and you know porridge in the morning will fix everything. <laughs> the Nutcracker Diaries begin. Let's get some sleep. Thursday knocked around and so did another bowl of porridge. This morning I decided to put a candle on because I was just feeling those cosy autumn vibes. Um, I then did my quiet time with the Lord and then got ready for work wearing this Halara outfit. We got these jeans on also from Halara, the Halara magic jeans. Um, it's not summer anymore, but I like to pretend it is. Um, I got to work and I did the next segment of progressing ballet technique. I'm kind of breaking it up into chunks, so I do the full program by the end of the week. But in the mornings, I just do kind of 10, 15 minutes of it a day. And by the end of the week, I would have done that entire course. So I really enjoy this exercise for engaging my core, ready for the day ahead. Um, and then I did, of course, my stretches, which I do every morning to kind of wake up those hamstrings and the back. Um, as I said before, I've really enjoyed this season doing more active stretching because I find that it prepares me better for the day ahead. And then, of course, I had to have my banana bread snack. Me and Ava are breaking up so from, from oh the bar. God, Ava just said I'm not good enough for her at the bar. No. I just, I was joking. Go I said on, I miss you to Frida. <laughs> I said I miss you to Frida. And then she thought it meant we were breaking up. I would never want to be with anyone else. It's just, you know, sometimes your eye just goes, a wandering eye, that's the word. I had a wandering eye <laughs> for a moment. I'm not good enough for her. But in reality, I know where my, <clears throat> where my heart is. Yeah. Hello. Oh, look, Reagan's on the wall. Hi. Oh, I'm morning vlog. It's Thursday. It feels like about, I don't know, warm up. Um, it feels like it's beyond. It feels beyond Thursday. What's beyond Thursday? It doesn't feel like Friday. It feels like Nutcracker's done. It feels like we've done Nutcracker. It feels like we're in like February. It's fine though, we'll be okay. I got my shoulders out today. Feeling good. <laughs> it looks weird on here. No, it doesn't. 
So today was a super full on day, even more than the day before. Um, we had class and then we were straight into, I think this was a snowflake rehearsal. Here's me practicing a few of the steps afterwards. No matter how much I practice them, I feel like there's always things that can be done better. I think that's just ballet in general. Um, and then I started practicing a little bit of merlotons because I knew that we had either a rehearsal that day or a rehearsal the next day. I mean, rehearsals all the time. Um, I had my lunch and then I got to some Pilates with one of our amazing physios here. Um, we have been doing sessions quite regularly together and I am starting to feel like definitely the benefits and the strength that comes from it. I really like the fact that it works my inside thighs and it really makes me feel long and elongated. Um, it also helps me to learn how to engage my muscles independently instead of just engaging everything at once. It really makes me have to actively think about which muscles to engage when. They're a bit tight. Oh, yeah, they are. Esther's fixing me before my next rehearsal. I will link her down below because she's one of the best soft tissue therapists I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> I then had another session with Harvey which was great and I was working on a few things that I was trying to clean up in Merlotons, just really trying to get the epaulement and all the shapes right and the turnout, things that I had been told in rehearsals that I needed to like think about and work on so we worked on those things together um, which was so so helpful, I mean it's so good just to get that insight um, from someone who's had so much experience like Harvey so I definitely do recommend he does online sessions for anyone and everyone so please make sure to check out him in the description down below I will link his website if you want to get in touch and work with him um, I can only recommend good things um, we then also worked a little bit on this other role that I'm currently uh, working towards a debut of this nutcracker. I think we made it. We worked hard and never said quit. We then had another rehearsal, which was for the opening and closing sequences of the nutcracker. Keep you in everything that you do take heart. Ow. Ow. It's the end of a long day of rehearsal. 35 minutes past six. We've got through the day. One more day tomorrow. When you laugh and we cry, I'll be always on your side and thank God for you. So after a long day at work, <laughs> taking the trash out was definitely not the favourite thing that I wanted to do, but it has to be done. We're all humans, we all have to kind of do all things to, to maintain cleanliness and health. So um, I always like including a little bit of this in the vlog because it's part of life and just because I'm a ballet dancer doesn't mean that I don't have to do the washing. and. Um, take the garbage out and wash the dishes um, it's all part of being human um, and I think it's you know it's what we all have in common so um, once the day was done I finally had a hot chocolate and rested for the evening before Friday knocked around again another bowl of porridge like when are we gonna get when is the porridge gonna get old uh, probably never um, I had my favorite Halara dress on and then we had a class, um, currently working on making my turns more consistent, especially lame ducks, which aren't my favourite uh, type of turns. I've always wondered why they're called lame ducks. But anyhow, um, this is uh, one of the rehearsals. We had flowers, um, still things I need to work on, um, as always. So uh, a little bit after rehearsal, I just made sure to uh, clean up those little bits and bobs that I wasn't 100% happy with and then I think we had another couple of rehearsals um, before we finished relatively early so I went to the Gerwood and I did a few different bits and bobs 
for my strength training at the moment i am finding that i want my glutes to fire a bit quicker so i've been doing a few squats straight to releve which should help me with my jumps as well and then i was feeling quite a few emotions on this day and didn't quite know how to express them so i just went quickly into a studio and did a bit of improv this is the best way i know how to really feel those emotions that i can't quite express through through words Tonight. We have Izzy! Yay. Izzy's coming tonight and we're having takeout, so all will be well. Yeah. I'm currently quite hungry. So not in the most positive frame of mind. Might have something to do with a half five wake up. Yeah, but I, I, I can see how that could contribute. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try and go back to sleep. No, I did. And then I had shoes to sew, which then I didn't actually end up using. So the whole. But something about knowing that they're there sometimes. Like, thank you. If they weren't there, then you would have been stressed. I, you know, if any other dancer deals with this, let, let us, us know. I am so hungry right now. I cannot tell you. I just washed and trying to plan a bit tomorrow, but I just need food because my brain will not function right now. So I'm very excited about this takeaway. But our friend isn't here yet, so I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> Oh my days, what a feast we have before us. Yes, yes it is here. here. And she brought the goods. Honestly, I'll just crack that in now. I chose to take it as a sign. We were always passing ships in the night. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I'm getting up right early to a session before I go watch my brother in a show, which I'm very excited for. But it does mean a long trip to London, so I had to prepare all lunch and work to do on the train. My friends have tried these on. Let's say I'm just a little bit scared. Be extremely careful of the footwear that you that you decide to wear. Even good quality point shoes, they have to be the right fit for your feet in order for you to dance at your best, but also dance safely. Just some heads up for that. Try these, skeptical. They actually kind of feel comfy, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. They look so wrong. Okay, everyone, it's the truth. I have like this. Have like no art. For a little bit of context, I'm going to show you my freed point shoes up against these sheen ones. As you can see, these do not push me over my block. Um, my freed ones push me much further over, especially in this arabesque, which they look so biscuit. These are my freeds. You can see it pushes me right over so that we get that nice shape of the foot, which you're looking for in a point shoe. Um, they're also a whole lot more supportive, so I feel pulled up over the shoes. So overall, I did not enjoy this experience. If you want to decorate them for, for Christmas as a little Christmas decoration, I recommend in that respect. They are much cheaper. So after doing a morning bar and also trying those cheap point shoes, um, the reason I bought them is because I had seen a lot of talk about them on Instagram and I wanted to make an opinion of them myself and I agree that they are not the safest point shoes to wear so please be careful. So I've just arrived in London and I'm trying to make sure I get to my brother's matinee because I'm watching the production today. And I was finally in London, I was watching my brother perform in the Twelfth Night at the Kenneth Moore Theatre my first time seeing him as a professional actor so I was super super excited to watch him I can so rarely make the, his performances I watched it with my younger brother and my dad and he was absolutely fantastic Luke, you are insane how are you feeling double show day yeah but I've got another show so yeah. I'm not feeling anything yet 
just feeling really a bit numb at this point in the yeah, day. Well, but you just got to do another one. Yeah. What are you going to get for dinner? But, yeah, no, that's it's got one more left to do. How many shows have you done this week? Five. Oh, so you had a double yesterday as yeah, well. Yeah, double yesterday. Double. I did it. Oh, it the amazing. polar bears. Remember the polar bears, everyone. Polar I'm bears. so proud. Remember the polar bears. That's the first time I've yes. seen you oh, wow. live. You it, yeah. As a professional. And it was excellent. I did it for the polar bears. bundle you up and take you home to my home. Can you come back with me to Birmingham? Yeah, we can try. Angels we have heard from high, sweetly singing over the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. last fast train from London. My train back was over two and a half hours. Feeling a bit tired, not gonna lie. Grateful that I got to see my brother in his show. I'm so proud of him. I need some sleep because I got up at half five this morning. Gonna do my washing up. I'm gonna get to bed. On Sunday, after doing a lot of admin work in the morning, I went to church with Reagan. It's always so amazing to be able to praise the saviour, the one who makes all of this possible on Sundays. Um, it is his day, after all. And then I had lunch and I actually did a very special interview with a, another YouTuber, so stay tuned for more news on that. Um, I'm not gonna say much more as of yet, but just stay tuned. So guys, that is the end of my week. My cheeks are all red. This always happens when I do interviews. After like an hour, my cheeks got all red. I don't quite know why. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to comment this emoji to let me know you made it to the end. And I will see you very soon in my next one. <sighs> I'm now going to relax for the day. Make sure to check out Halara and their amazing clothes. I will link them down below, all the items that you've seen in this video. And make sure to check out their Black Friday sale. If you want to move and groove in great looking outfits, Halara is the way to go. I will see you very soon in the next one. Dream big and make it happen. Bye. That's why this truth.